this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm working on the album. I um, was just talking to my brother on the phone and my sister and Lottie. And they were out running some errands and everything. But anyway, I'm going to finish up, try to finish up this album. Now, I've already got four of my pages on the fronts all completed and matted and everything. And I'm going to take you along on the last one. Then we're going to put these pages in my book. So, super easy. So, what you need to make the pages for this particular album is you're going to need two envelopes, okay? This is the package that I got it from. This came, these came from um, Michael's, and they are five by seven. This particular card sets, they only come um, with, with like, they look like postcards. They don't have like the flip over kind of card. Um, like the folded card. So they come with these plus they come with the envelopes. And I'm just using the envelopes. Well, actually, I'm using the others too. Um, so anyway, so I had to go get some more because number one, I lost one of my envelopes. I was going to make make another video earlier to get this started, but I realized something happened. But this is the reason, one of the reasons I had to go and get more envelopes. Because as you see, when I put this one on, see that right there? Um, I put it on Cricut. So, I had to go buy some more envelopes. So, that one actually is trash. I tried to pull it off and it was starting to tear. So, anyway, again, these came from Michaels. I'm using the 5x7. They're recollections. And that's what the package looks like. Okay. So, let's just get going on this. Let me move my trimmer. My, my new trimmer. Oh, my. It works so much better. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your envelopes and on... Where the flap is, I'm going to fold it backward, and I'm going to fold it backward on this one as well. And then I'm going to take my scissors, and where this little flap right here is, I'm going to trim it up just to that edge. See how it folds out? And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing with the other envelope. So you want to make sure they're going to be flipping up like that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just kind of reach down in there. I love making albums like this because then you got your pockets and you don't have to try to create extra pockets. You've got plenty of pockets. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take one take the one envelope and you're going to take the flap and you're going to stick it down inside the other envelope and you're going to try to even these up as good as you can just like this okay make sure the sides are as even as you can get it because see that's where I made the mistake and then it wasted my envelope so I'm just kind of kind of hold it hold it still and then I'm going to take my glue and just right up here under the edge I'm going to put my glue, still trying to make sure I keep them even as I can. And then when I lift it up, that flap is actually, it's like um, where it's down inside, inside here. So then when I lift it up, it looks pretty clean. Okay, I just want to make sure Looks like it moved just a tad when I pit lifted it up, so I want to fix that. Okay. Okay, so I got that. Now, you're going to leave this on the back. These little fun little tabs, these just fold them in, so you're going to just glue those in so they'll lay flat, or you can cut them off. I just glued them in on both sides. So now, so that lays flat and we're gonna cover this with paper and then this front one, we're gonna also glue it down as well. Or you can cut it off. I just glue it. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Now this part right here, that's going to be the part that's going to attach to our to our book. So I'm going to leave this. 
but I'm going to use one of the cards, these five by seven cards that it came with, and I'm just going to put it going right across so that way when I put some DSP, some designer series paper back here, it kind of gives me an anchor to put the paper on. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some tape and I'm going to add a strip of tape on one side. Tear this off. Okay. And then make sure it's pressed down really, really well. I'm going to flip my little tape paper up here. And I'm going to try to center this in the back of where the fold is now on the back. Keep in mind your pockets are on the other side. So you're on the back where your flap is. And I accidentally set it down. I don't want to set it down yet, so I gotta grab it. I just want to make sure I'm getting it as even as I can. Try to have it lined up kind of flush with the top. And I think I need to adjust a little bit more. And just take your time. Okay. I think that that will work. So now let me get this, and there we go. Okay, so now this is what it looks like, okay? So don't glue this part right here. Just leave that for a second, okay? So now, while we got this going, I've already pre-cut some of my papers over here to kind of save a little bit of time for this part. So um, what I'm gonna do is you wanna add some designer series paper up here. And so, and this is where the front pocket is. So I'm just gonna add this, and I thought the little cats were kind of cute. And so I'm just gonna include the cats. You can glue it, or let me see how much tape I have left in here. And just measure it up against your envelope and leave a little edge, and that's it, easy. So I'm gonna grab this. So there we go, that's gonna be our front. And I this is actually on the other side, so I'm gonna go with this one. And you don't have to cut this one, just make it the length that you want it. And then just cut it about, oh, well, I think I did three inches. Because you don't need a full piece of paper, it's gonna go behind and it's just gonna sit right back here just to give it some decoration. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add I'm just going to put a little glue. You don't even have to glue the whole thing, the top, because it's going to stay. Stick it down inside of your envelope. And I'm going to press that down. And I'm going to gently press this down because I won't want any of the glue to seep out. And there is the front. Now we have our front pocket. So now I'm going to open it up. And this one is going to go, let me see here. I think I want to use, I haven't used this purple side yet. I'm thinking, thinking. Sometimes you just got to think about which way you want it. Which way you want it to go. I already did one with this bottom, so I think I'll go with this one and then I'll flip this and put this up inside. So I'm gonna do that and let me make sure I've got enough space on here, and I do. So I'm gonna add a little tape right here. I'm gonna flip flop tape or glue. I hope that you guys came back for this part too, so you could see how to finish this because. Pretty much the cover parts are the easy parts, and now you gotta get these pages. So everybody needs to know how to pages. Yeah, okay, I didn't have it exactly in the center. So I'm trying to line it up. Okay, and then this one is going to be stuck down here. See how it covered up the little tabs I didn't cut off? And it's just gonna go like that, okay? So I'm gonna add glue.
And then I'm gonna stick it down in there. And it's kind of easier to, oops, got a little glue up there. Kind of easier to get these the paper on before you start decorating. Okay. The way you can have a flat, good flat surface. Okay, so now I need a piece for the back, and I cut this green one. I've I cut this one. I've already used it somewhere, so I'm going to do green on this one. And I'm not really coordinating all my pages, y'all. I am just um, I'm just putting it where I want it. It ends up working out just fine. I know this tape is fixing to run out, so I'm seeing how much, how long I could go here. At least I made that one. And okay, uh, you know what? It's a little bit crooked, but it's okay. I think I'll be able to cover that up um, with some with something of embellishment. See how it's a little crooked right there? I'm probably the only one that would have noticed it, but it's all good. Okay, I want to make sure everything's pressed down well. Get this on here good. Because once you're done and you get these in the book, you'll be able to you'll be able to make them all pretty. Okay, so now I have my five. Okay, so now we're gonna work on we're gonna put our five pages in our book. So got our book here. I've gone ahead and I've put tape on the fronts and backs of each one of my hinges. And so I've got them ready to go. So what I want to do as far as putting these on, and I figure this is the easiest way for me, okay? So what the nice thing about this is that you have this opening right here, okay? And so you're going to be able to put your, put your envelope like right up here. Let me turn this around, okay? Hopefully you can see this. So I'm going to pull the tape off and I'm going to stick it where this is up inside, but not putting it. You want to make sure you don't put it all the way down flush with the hinge. You want to put it, leave a little space like, I don't know, like a little space, eighth of an inch or something down there. That way then it doesn't like sit right on the flap at the edge of it. Because if you do, then your pages won't turn. Okay, I'm going to bring it in just a little bit so you can see this better. Okay. So we're going to start on our first one and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to kind of turn it like this. I'm going to peel up my tape and make sure your uh, like the fold is like on the top. And let me see. I need to see where exactly where I'm putting it. So I'm sorry. I'm turning it. I just got to get comfy here. So I just want to add this. Okay, so it's right above. So I'm gonna gently fold it over, pull up my tape, and then I wanna make sure it stays where I want it. And I'm gonna press it down, okay? So see, it's right here on this edge right here. Let me flip these over. Now I'm going to turn this over. Now if this is the back of my strip. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off. Pull this one off. And I'm going to lay this down right on top. Now I got, it's not all the way flush up in there, but it's okay because I am going to cover this with some designer series paper. So now I've got my first page in there and you've got pockets. How easy is this, right? Okay, so let's put the rest of them in and then we're gonna add pages. We're gonna add our paper. Now you can go back here now and add, make sure you add some glue or something to add this, get this part to lay down so it's, it gives it a good stability here. Okay. So that's not too bad. So I'm going to make sure, try to make sure I get it as straight as I can. No one is perfect. I am not perfect. I get them crooked all the time. So it looks pretty good on that side. So, okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. Lifting up my flap. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to 
lift up my paper. I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to kind of line it. I can see it. So I'm going to line it, try to make things straight. Press down the bottom. I'm going to flip this over. Now I'm going to pull off my tape. If you want to add extra glue in there too for stability, go for it. And now we'll peel this one off. And I'm going to flip over. And there we go. See how easy that is? Two pages in and that was so simple. I'm adding a little glue underneath so this part will adhere together. Okay, now we're gonna do our next one. Let me see which one I did at the front. Okay, the pumpkins that, I didn't even think about which order I wanted them to go in. I kinda wanted this one on the front because I really love that paper, but it's all good. I'll put it next. So now, and what I did on this one, I had already added, no, I didn't add some glue. I take that back. Filling up my tape. And then I'm gonna line it up. Leaving that about eighth of an inch or so. Gonna, now I'm gonna flip this over. Press this down. Take off this and flip this over and press that down. Add a little glue. See how simple this is? So simple. Okay, we've got two left. So we're gonna do with this one next. Gonna peel it up. Here it is right here. I'm gonna fold that up. I'm going to line it up the best you can. I don't even have to stop my video for this because and get the rest on because it is so quick just to do this. You just do it and no need to stop. It's pretty fast. I like making these kind of um, these kind of albums. Okay. Uh, flip that over. Put my glue. Okay, last page. This one is the cats. So I'm going to pull this up. And I'm going to just kind of line it up where I want it. Press it down. And I'm going to pull this one. And now my pages have been placed in my book. Oops, I can't grab that one. There we go. And now I'm going to press this down. Add a little glue. Okay. So now, y'all, we now have pages in our book. Let's get back out here. See that? Now we have some sweet pages. Look, we're gonna add designer series paper on the backs of these, and how fast is this? And it's gonna be so cute once it's all done. Okay, so I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna get, get some paper cut for put, to put paper on the backs of here. And I'll be back. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like with the paper on the back. See, you can't even tell. You've add paper over, it's all nicely glued down. And now it just looks like a normal page that you can put anything you want on it. So, so that's what this looks like. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I wanna work on the front and I also wanna quickly put a uh, small pockets on the front and back. So on for the for the front, since I've already got this this purple and green paper, which is actually beautiful, you see that shimmer. 
what I did is I thought I would add, um, add something different to it and I would add some of this paper and just add it over it. So I see stripe on the top and I see the spider web on the bottom. And I think it's just beautiful. See that purple spider web? It's just beautiful. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it where I have a little strip of green, like hanging down below. You see that? So let me see about doing this. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add tape on this one just so I can make sure it's getting, it's good and adhered. I'm gonna add my tape. Sure hope y'all are still with me. Okay, where did my thingy go here? I'm kind of going backward right now because I am a right-hander. I cannot do that with my right hand, go figure. I mean my left hand. There we go. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna add this, this one right here. Make sure you get it right to that edge. So you just want to make sure that it's right on the edge and I'm going to add maybe two more maybe two more strips and I think that should hold it down pretty well okay let me go ahead and do my tape for the other one for the back Sorry, my laundry door is open. I'm washing bed sheets right now. My brother called a while ago and I was talking to him and I finally said, well, I gotta go. I gotta finish this, uh, gotta finish this album and I need to get up and do a little house chores. So, well, y'all, well, you know what's so funny? Okay, so my brother, he said, I said, where are y'all at? He goes, oh, we're at Walmart. He said, I'm staying in the car with Lottie because they took Lottie everywhere with them. He said, I'm in the car with Lottie. He said, because um, Shelly went in to pick up, my sister-in-law, she went in to pick up some something to cook for dinner. And I said, well, what are y'all having? And he said, yeah, we're going to have steak. We're going to have steak and broccoli. And I started laughing. I said, that is so funny. That's exactly what, what my husband and I are having for dinner. That is, I thought it was so funny that they're having the same thing. So I'm sure later we'll text each other pictures of our of our dinner okay i'm lining this up having that little green i'm gonna gently press that down and i'm gonna pull off my first strip of my tape and look at that i like that okay i'm gonna see if i can reach up in here and grab the other strips I could get my pokey tool to probably help me out. And my pokey tool here. So I can pull it off. There we go. And I've got another one. And now I'm going to gently press this down. I like adding that on there. That's so pretty. Let's do the back. I wonder if I should do this one at the top. Nah, I think I'll do it at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to pull off the tape a little bit. I'm going to line this up. Trying to make this even. off all the rest of the tape. What do y'all think about adding this extra strip? It just kind of gave it a little something, you know? I really like that. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna gently press it down. See how I left that little bit of green? I love having this that extra color. Now I need to put something on the spine. The spine's getting neglected here. So let me do the spine. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe I'll use some of the spider web for the, for the spine. I think that's what I'll do. 
So I know my spine is two inches and my the height is five and three fourths. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my two inches. So I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna do a little less than two inches actually. Actually, let me do this one. I'm gonna cut my five and three fourths or a little less than five and three fourths and now I'll cut my little less than two inches so it will fit on my, fit on the spine. And I think, let's see how that's gonna work. Look at that, it's gonna work. Now I'm wondering if I need a piece of striped. I think I'll do a piece of striped too. Just kinda go with it y'all, just, or I might do some solid grain here, this will work. So I'm gonna do maybe two, a little less than two. And there's a little less than the five and three fours. So I don't wanna see. I think I need to cut the purple down just a little. Just because oh, there goes my washer. Sorry about that, y'all. I left the door open there. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Just because I want to see that green peek over. See how the green peeks over? That's what I want. Okay. So now I'm going to do this. But let me see if I can. I think I'll just use some tape. Let me use this one. So going to tape onto the green so I want to go all the way to the edge with this one and y'all you know what I heard that Hallmark Christmas movies are going to start in um toward the end of October I'm excited I'm excited. I'm excited. I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Okay, let's get this one adhered to the green one. Okay, trying to make sure I've got it on the center. Looks pretty good. Close enough. I'm not going to pull it up. See how I went off just a little bit? Not going to worry. It's okay. Now I'll put this over here on the spine. So. I think if it has a little bit of crookedness or some extra little something on it, that just gives it a little character. Because if not, I if I would have wouldn't have been able to get the tape off, I would have just cut it again. I'm not going to do that. I think this is all just fine. Okay, I want to make sure. Okay, peel this off. Get this on the spine. to try to put this in the center. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. So there is how I've covered that. Everything looks good. Pages are all in really nicely. And the only thing I could see is right here it's catching on the fold. So, this might be something that I have to trim right there, but I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait, and I'm not going to do anything about that. Okay, so I'm going to add a little cut apart or something for the front. Y'all know me, I'm a cut apart girl. So, I've got the cut aparts from this collection, and I really like the You're My Pumpkin or... Um... Happy Haunting's kind of cute. Hello Beautiful. I think the Hello Beautiful could be 
what I'm looking at. Okay. I think let's go with that one. It looks like I'll turn it this way. Beware and the Wicked is pretty cute. It will go somewhere inside of albums. Let's go ahead and cut these. So this one I think would be super cute. Like right smack dab in the middle. Of course we got to do some layering up. Cannot forget that. Let me see what kind of green I got over here. Nope, not big enough. I think I've got... Add in some orange. I think I'll add in some orange on here. Or I might just do black. There is a little orange on the faces. So I could add in orange. So I'm going to add some glue. go out just a little bit I want to give that gold that orange glitter trim got some glue seeping out because I'm glue happy are you guys glue happy okay I don't even know how long our video is going I hope it's not too long so I might stop it after I put this on and just have to come back and do a final reveal video I didn't want to have to do that. Um, I think that's going to go in the middle. I think I need to do some more layering. It needs uh, some more colors. I think. We've got some black here. I'm going to layer up some black. Okay. I went to the grocery store. I forgot to put on my Apple Watch. I was so mad at myself because that's all those steps I could have got. I told my brother, my brother, you know my brother. Okay, this is what my brother said. I said, man, it makes me mad. I said, I went to the store. I forgot to wear my watch to track my steps at the store and he goes well this is what you do he said you go back to the store and you take you go back and you rewalk it and don't buy anything and then you can get those steps on there i'm like now nah, i think i'll just go walk the neighborhood later <laughs> my brother is so silly okay i hope you guys saw the video that my brother put out of, of lottie watching Watching the video of me opening his the Happy Mail. Oh my goodness, that dog was staring at that at her, the iPad. Okay, I added a little more. I'm thinking that I still need some green. I need more green. I need more color. I want more. Okay, let me grab some green. I think this green I grabbed is kind of too much green, but it's just going to be a trim, so I think it'll be okay. I'm just going to add it under here. Let's make these papers. Just have a titch of green. 
poking out. I know it's not glitter, but I don't have any glitter green. I'm going to press this down and then cut. Okay. Get this on. I think the green just kind of gave it a little something. I layer up until I, until I love it. And I don't love it yet. I think I have to end with... I think I'm going to end with the orange. Okay. Last one, I think. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Saturday nights with the brand new Christmas Hallmark movies. But I need, I think what I need to do is I need to go watch. I need to go and watch. Um, so yeah, I like that. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to pop this up on some foam. So I'm going to grab some foam. Yeah, hold on, y'all. Got some water spilling here. We got some foam. But I want to go watch them. Um, I need to watch. Um, oh, what is the name of that show? Pocus Pocus. That's what I need to go watch. I think I got that movie somewhere. I like that movie. It's a pretty good movie. Okay. Let me put some at the bottom and work my way in. And then when I'm done putting this on, I'm going to end this video because I think it's long. And um, I'll come back probably tomorrow with a final reveal of my of my completed album. Okay, I think I need one more. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this album making. It's sure been fun on my end. A lot of fun. There's so much more I want to do. So when you come back, hopefully I'll have added some just a little bit of something, something extra to it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down there right in the center. Let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that extra adding, adding that extra green really, really is really a nice touch. I'm adding this in the center. And look at that. Look at that. That's cute. That's pretty cute. So add as many layers you want to get that color in there. And I love how it added all this extra stuff here. So anyway, I'm going to go back. I'm going to cut myself some strips here and put some pockets. And I'll put one in the front and the back. And I'll probably make some photo mats. And uh, But anyway, I hope that you come back for the final reveal of what it looks like in the very end. And um, hopefully this gives you some good ideas. And um, I'm going to quit videoing now. I'm going to get off here because I need to go back in my house and do a few things in my house. And I'm um, getting my sheets in the dryer. And I just need to get a few things done. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I know this was a little bit long. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys so much. Bye.